Okay, my Fisher 552D has arrived from America. As you can see, it's in stunning condition. There was a broken, broken battery terminal. Hence, it was only running on one battery. Uh, yeah, it looked like that in the picture as well. It was only showing 40 on the meter that he photographed it, and that was obviously the battery test. Uh, when it arrived, it was in battery test mode. But I've been connected a second battery up, and yeah, it, it's it's perfect. Uh, amazingly, it still works. So here we go, turn it on, turn the volume up, threshold, yeah, about three. Okay, disc level three, that should knock out most, most iron. Uh, it's in discrimination, Gra ground balance well. Huh? The phone's thinning it, mad. <laughs> Sensitivity, that's up to nine or ten so it goes uh, to demonstrate for the threshold yeah you'll see that needle and, and and the sound obviously when I bring the iron close you see it dip you lose see the needle dips when the iron comes near it That's and then what now because it's a big piece of iron it'll pick it up but you can tell yeah. see it's picking it up but listen for the threshold dipping and they say you know even when it's deep you'll you'll hear the threshold disappear Now, that's the worst, obviously. A nail. Nails a doddle. Uh, a, na a nail just disappears, full stop. When that fresh old dips, you know it's iron. Now, a little tiny threepence. Silver threepence. I'll turn side on. In this grim mode, this is. I measured that. I think it was nine inches. Audible signal at nine. Uh, a shilling. Okay, I'm coming too close to the camera. I think that was about ten or eleven. Penny. About 13 this was. Can't, can't, get, can't get in the same shot, yeah. Tell me for it, 13 inches on the old penny. Now, something like a quarter ammy. Camera's affecting it. You know that you don't need any dip in the threshold, only a rise. So you need a little tiny change in threshold. Take an inch off and it increases, and obviously you dig it. But yeah, about five inches in air on a quarter ammy. Obviously, you wouldn't get that in the ground. Well, for such an old machine, what is it? 30, 35, 1977, these come out. So, yeah, do the maths. 40 years old, isn't he? Little tiny, tiny Preston, I think it is, off a pair of jeans. Yeah, 
about six inches on that. That's, that's pretty good. So yeah, I'm impressed. I didn't even expect it to work. I could tell it was a nice, you know, I just needed to clean. I could tell it was going to be a nice looking machine. So, yeah. I'm quite impressed. The fact it still works. Turn the flush on so you can hear that getting knocked out. Two, two air gun pellets. I wouldn't think you'd pick this up because it's a low conductor. Oh, a couple of inches. It should be more sensitive to silver because it was on, I think it was five and a half kilohertz or four and a half kilohertz. This machine. So it won't like lead, won't like gold so much. We'll love silver. So yeah, very impressed. I'm amazed by the condition. Somebody's obviously looked after it very well. Pride and joy. And I love it mount, because these bloody things are heavy. Interestingly enough, looking at this, when you look at that, and then you look at the Taltec 100, <laughs> And these was on top, obviously, but yeah, not much difference. That's probably why I bought a Taltec 100 because when I was a kid, I always wanted a Fisher 555. And when I finally got enough money, when I was 18 or 19, I bought one of these instead. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.